In this video, I'm going to give you some strategies that you can use to help conquer any area of mathematics. It doesn't matter if you are learning basic arithmetic, algebra, statistics, calculus, advanced calculus, topology, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to give you strategies that you can use to conquer all of mathematics. Pay attention to the details. And by the details, I don't just mean like the details in a proof that you're writing. No, no, no. I mean the definitions, the procedures you learn, the things that you're supposed to memorize. So learn all of it. If you have to memorize, you know, the formula for the volume of a sphere, memorize it, commit it to memory, do it. If you have to know the definition of the convergence of a limit, memorize it, do it. If you have to know some trig function values, memorize them. It is worth it. So details, right? Pay attention to the details. When you learn a procedure for doing something, and by the way, you know everything is a procedure almost, right? I mean, think about it. When you learn a procedure for doing anything in math, whether it be diagonalizing a matrix or solving a quadratic equation, learn it. Details, pay attention to those details. It matters. And if you really want to learn something in math, you have to know the details. That right there is extremely empowering because next time you pick up a math book or next time you go to class, or next time you watch a math video, slow down, pay attention to every detail, hang on to every step, understand why everything works. Take a, a, a more focused look at the math problem that you're working on. Don't skip any examples. This is huge. This is huge, especially if you are in a classroom setting. So this is, this is for those that want to learn everything or those in a classroom setting. It doesn't matter what grade you're in or if you're in college. Don't skip any examples. This is especially true the harder and higher you go up. For example, in a, in a basic algebra class, yes, there are lots of different types of examples, but a lot of them are pretty similar. Once you get uh, to, to like calculus, then sometimes the examples are wildly different or courses like discrete mathematics where you have lots of different topics. So the math kind of changes in those courses. And so when you skip examples, what happens is sometimes you're basically skipping entire concepts or you know, possible test questions. So don't skip examples if you're in a classroom setting and you're taking a math class. Ever, ever, even if the teacher does just one example of a specific thing, the fact that the teacher took the time to do that example in class says something, right? Classroom time is precious. Every minute counts. It's the only time you have to teach the students the material that you're supposed to teach them. So you have to make every second count. So if a teacher is doing a problem on the board, pay attention to it. Don't skip any examples. Don't skip anything from the homework, right? If there is a homework problem, consider that an example. Skip nothing because when test time comes, any of those problems or similar could show up on that test. So if you're trying to get a hundred percent, which you can do, right? You can get a hundred percent. You can get an A if you follow these tips. Don't skip examples. Do all of them. The, the great mathematician, he passed away many years ago, Paul Halmos, who was a, a very famous Hungarian mathematician. Uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but he is quoted for saying that when he wanted to learn a particular math subject, one of the first things he would do is he would gather as many examples as he could. He would surround himself with examples and learn as much as possible about that. And so examples are everything. If, if you think about it, and I don't want to derail too much from this, but let me just make this one point. A lot of mathematics comes from examples. The theorems and things that you see in mathematics and books, they're theorems because you know definitions were created and, and you know 
there's certain examples that fall under those definitions and then theory is created around those definitions. So you have certain examples that are very, very important in math. They, they help create mathematics. So examples are key. Don't skip examples and you can conquer mathematics. Don't be afraid to get help. It's okay to ask for help. Don't worry about asking stupid questions. Don't worry about what other people think about you. These are reasons that people don't ask for help, okay? It's okay to ask. A lot of times people won't ask for help because they're shy, they're embarrassed. Don't be that person. Ask for help. Who cares if the person you're asking for help thinks you're, you're dumb? It doesn't matter what they think about you. The only thing that matters is your success, right? And I think that's a good way to look at it because you know what? That's the only thing you can control. You can't control how your professor or how the tutors or how your friends look at you. What you can control is your success. And when you ask for help from individuals who know what they're doing, whether they be your friends, whether it be a tutor at some type of tutoring or academic center, or whether it be your professor or a teaching assistant, or even another teacher, it doesn't matter. It's going to help you greatly. So don't be afraid to ask for help. This is one that can help you a lot. And let me emphasize, don't be afraid to ask for a lot of help. It's okay. It's okay. Ask for help. Anytime you work with someone else and you work on math, it's, it's gonna help you greatly, especially if you learn some strategies from that experience. And the last tip I want to leave you with, and this is the one that really might make you feel like a math genius, is that believe. That's right, just, just believe that you can do it. It's a big deal. When you believe that you can do something, then at least there's a possibility that it can happen. You know, if, if you have no hope, if you are thinking you can't do mathematics, then that does two things. One, you're no longer excited about math because you think you can't do it, so there's no hope, so math all of a sudden sucks even more than before because what's the point? You're gonna fail anyway, so that's a really bad attitude, right? And, and two, two, when you don't believe, then it's like you're setting yourself up for failure, right? Like, like you're thinking you can't do it, so you're not gonna work towards it. When you believe you can do math, and, and I know you can because I've seen it, I've had thousands of students over the years, I've seen people who are terrible at math, and I've seen people who are amazing at math, and you know, a lot of times it's those people who aren't very good at math, at least for me, those are the people that inspire me because they work harder a lot of times than the talented students. Anyways, you can do it. Believe you can do it. I have seen people rise from the ashes, people who could barely solve basic equations, start a course in algebra and finish and know how to solve logarithmic equations with three logarithms, which is something I couldn't do when I was an algebra student. So I think that shows something. It shows that human beings are a lot smarter than they think they are. I think we humans are all much, much better than we think we are. So believe in yourself. You can do it. You might actually be, I mean, a math genius. I have seen potential in people. I have seen people who think they are good at math and they start learning math and they become amazing. They become really, really good. But those are some strategies that you can use that will make you better at mathematics. I think the last one we discussed about believing in yourself is definitely the key takeaway from this video, right? Just believe that you can do it. Keep a positive attitude. Keep trying. A positive attitude goes a long way. And when you lose hope, when you stop believing that you can't do it, that's when it's like, it's, what, what's the point, right? You're gonna fail if you do that. Or you might, you might pass just because you're smart and you grinded through the homework and you made it, right? But you're not gonna be your best. You're not gonna get that 100%. You're not gonna feel good about yourself if you don't believe. So start believing. Start believing in yourself. You can do it. Also, 
If you want to learn mathematics, I do have courses. They're on the Udemy platform, but if you get them, please use my links. Um, I will leave them in the description of this video or on my website, mathsorcerer.com, for two reasons. One, I've lowered the prices for the courses, so if you use my links, you will get a low price. And two, it helps me greatly. Also, like and subscribe if you want to. Check out my other YouTube channel, The Internet Sorcerer, and sometimes I do have some of my books on eBay. Check out the link to my eBay store in the description of this video. Wow, I think that's everything, so many things. But really, honestly, the most important thing is that you believe in yourself, because you can do it you can do it. As always, keep doing mathematics.